Hello, uh, my name is Manny Marquez. I am with uh, Design Fusion. What I'm going to show you today in this uh, segment is a new feature in context contour flange in ST9. So what I have here is a DC to AC power converter. And I need to design a top cover for this uh, power unit here. So um, the first thing I like to do is kind of create a part in the context of the assembly. So I'm going to simply select the uh, material, and I'm going to go ahead and give it a name. I'm going to call that the uh, top uh, cover one, two, three, four, five, and uh, go ahead and accept that. Um, but before I show you that new feature or that new functionality, I kind of just kind of briefly touch on what you had to do in previous versions, such, such as an ST8. So uh, before you had to do that, um, you have to have a, a sketch present in order for you to do that. And typically you use the, uh, the include command or the project to sketch uh, command here and simply select the plane. And at that point, you had to kind of go to the edges or select the edge from the uh, assembly to kind of start to select your geometry. I'm gonna select the um, quick pick to kind of outline that. And you can see it starts to edit right here, right, where you selected the plane. And I could keep selecting geometry, such as there, and kind of work my way in here. So you can kind of get the point, right? Obviously, I need to get the other side over here as well. So basically, that's what you had to do. And then come back and select the contour flange, and then select the sketch, and then extrude it, which are direction. Uh, but I'm not going to show you that. Just kind of, kind of want to touch base on that. So that you can see the new functionality. So uh, on ST9, we have the ability to simply select and lock into a plane, such as this right here, and then select the plane. And at that point, it already automatically prompts you to start selecting edges, such as here. Uh, I, by default, this has to select the, the chain. I'm going to go to single because that way I could simply select the desired geometry that I need. And you can see this as soon as I start doing that. It gives me the option to go ahead and start extruding that uh, sheet metal part. And uh, obviously, I want to add more geometry. So I want that here and there. And you can see that starts placing it right about there. And I go ahead and finish off the other edge here, there, there, and here. OK. And, and that's pretty much all I needed. At, at this point, I'm going to simply start to uh, uh, go ahead and extrude my sheet metal part and uh, I could go ahead and dynamically dra drag it in or enter a value but since uh, I have the key points options here that I could do that and also I'm going to use the uh, symmetric extent so it, got, it does pull, pull in both directions so as soon as I lock into a key point here which I done there already okay uh, obviously you can see that I, I need to come back and move this a little further out so it uh, I'm able to kind of do some cutting techniques here so I'm going to drag it out further than, uh, doesn't matter how far, as long as you go beyond this point uh, or any of this. Uh, so there you go. Okay, so uh, the next thing I, I like to do is simply use uh, some uh, cutting tools technique here. And I like to get maybe uh, a, a, a sketch here. In order for me to do that, I'm going to go ahead and use the project sketch command and simply select that uh, uh, plane there. And at that point, I could simply start selecting the edges here uh, to kind of get the exact same, um, let me see, go ahead and select the edge there. And there you go. And, and you can see that I already created a, a, a region here, but uh, I definitely want to move out further than that because obviously it has this uh, round right here. Uh, I want to go ahead and add another, extend that just slightly over in this direction. And then go ahead and uh, using that uh, trim command to kind of extend it all the way out there and you can see that's the uh, region that i'm looking for um, at that point i could come back and select uh, the region and select that and then simply just try start to uh, cut into the part that i want to there you go okay there you have it um, one thing i like to do also notice that the um, you have a, uh, uh, you know, a couple of holes in here to uh, obviously vent out the heat from the uh, converter here. And I like to do the same thing up at the top here. 
Um, so I'm going to go ahead and simply click on the uh, uh, whole command and place in uh, a 5 millimeter. Let's see here, uh, just a, uh, what do you call it, um, a simple. And I'll go ahead and use it uh, as a, use that, uh, let's see, ISO. And make that a 5 millimeter. Select 5 millimeter here. There you go. And simply place that here. And I'm going to come from the top here so I can select the uh, center of that right here, your origin. And make sure I lock into that. Let me select all here. There you go. All right. So now that I've created that one, uh, obviously I need to go ahead and, and uh, pattern that. So I'm going to simply go to my pattern command here. And I'm going to use a fill pattern. And, and what that's allowed me, to do, uh, allowed me to do is simply select that surface. And uh, that would automatically give me, uh, let's say, for example, on rectangle, right? Uh, and I could kind of play around with these numbers here. I could maybe go by 10 by 10. You see that? Or I could go maybe uh, staggered. Uh, let's see here. I could go maybe 10 and maybe change that the angle to uh, 45. See what I get from that? Or maybe if I want to go to um, radial, uh, maybe I want to have a number of uh, 7 by 7. Let's see, something like this. Um, I think maybe the the stagger is going to give me the best results there. Uh, that's too close, so I'm going to come back and change that uh, maybe 10 uh, by 45. Actually, you know what, 60 looks better. There you go. And I accept that. There you have it. And then all I need to do is simply come back out of the, um, uh, go back to the assembly. And you can see that how much I put in there, how many, uh, all the holes that are in there now. Uh, so there you have it, the new enhancement on the new enhancement feature on ST9 in context contour flange. So um, solid edge, forward thinking, forward modeling.